exercise I'd like to demonstrate is the glute hamstring bridge with the use of a stability ball. What I'm going to have the athlete do is he's going to first help stabilize his core, tilting his pelvis back, and then he's going to drive with his hips, lifting up off of the ground. He's going to pause at the top and then slowly back down. The progression I like to do for the stability ball bridge is also include a hamstring curl with it as well. So I'll get down here and I support the ball and I'll have the athlete bridge up and pull his heels towards him, better recruiting and strengthening the hamstring muscles. Now a good progression for this is the athlete will hold the bridge the entire time and just predominantly work on strengthening the hamstrings. Very good job, Russ. I'd like to demonstrate another way that you could do the glute hamstring bridge without the use of a stability ball. So patients in a hook line position with their knees bent up, what I want them to do is to help engage their core first. So he's going to tilt that pelvis towards his spine. He's going to flatten out his lower back. Now I want him to drive up at his hips, lifting his glutes up off the ground, pausing at the top for a couple seconds, and then gently going back down. It's really important with this exercise that the feet are somewhat close together and that they're not spread too far apart. A progression for the glute hamstring bridge is better isolating one leg at a time. So what I'm going to have the patient do is he's going to bridge up like he traditionally has, lifting the glutes off the table, but this time now he'll extend one leg, lifting it off the ground, bring it back in. Once he's stable, he'll extend out his other leg, and then slowly lower back down to the ground. Big thing with this exercise is you want to keep the pelvis in a neutral position and avoid the pelvis from dropping, specifically when the leg is extending away from the body. Good. To help better stabilize the core pelvis, we're gonna have the patient now do some active motion with a single leg bridge. So I'm gonna have him bridge up, he's gonna extend one leg out, and he's going to take that leg, move it away from center point, back in, lower down, and I'll have him bridge back up, Stabilize the pelvis, extend his leg out, bring his leg out to the side. You want to keep a nice, flat, neutral pelvis with that, and back down. 